Hi all, this is Sean Olson from purpleboogers.com. Um, I want to show you a quick, uh, some quick tips and tricks uh, with my paint that I've discovered uh, that are not blatantly obvious uh, when you first open up the program and uh, start browsing the menus. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. First off, uh, the my paint you're looking at on uh, my screen here is a, a development version of my paint. Um, so if uh, it looks different, don't be worried. Uh, this functionality should work the same in the current version of my paint. Or if you want to download and compile this version, uh, you can find it on my paint with instructions on how to do that on the my paint uh, website. So anyway, uh, let's get to our tips and tricks. The first one I'd like to show is has to do with backgrounds. Uh, I guess it's obvious if you've browsed the menu systems that uh, if you go to background here you can choose a variety of uh, different backgrounds. Uh, that's nice for a lot of stuff but as you can see like with this background uh, it feels a little bit repetitive and uh, I oftentimes like stuff that looks um, uh, like, like a dirty dingy piece of paper to draw on. So what you can actually do is you can put a piece of paper or whatever, a background, on that back layer by just drag and dropping it from your OS. So, so there you go. Now I have a nice dingy piece of paper. Now beware with this. I have noticed that it does go on layer uh, 1 or layer 0, and um, no matter what, it will do that. Even if you uh, have 12 layers in your thing and you drag and drop it'll delete everything else and put it on layer zero so make sure you put that paper on first before you start anything else um, next uh, you've probably seen me dragging this paper around with our middle mouse button um, that's really quite convenient uh, but we can also use uh, the modifier keys to change change this up a little bit. We can use control plus middle mouse button to zoom our canvas in and out and we can use shift plus middle mouse button to rotate the canvas just like you would uh, rotate a piece of paper when you're drawing on it. That's great. Uh, F12 resets it to the initial setup now, next on our list is uh, shortcut changing. If you go up to here, help, uh, change the key keyboard shortcuts, it says move your mouse over a menu entry and then press key to assign. I'm going to show you how this works uh, exactly. Uh, for instance, if I shoot up here to view and say I want mirror to, instead of I, which is hard to remember for mirror, which starts with M, I want that to be an M. I literally hold my mouse over it and hit the M key. Now the uh, mirroring should work with the M key. Works fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to talk about straight lines. Um, say you were trying to do uh, some, uh, draw some depth, you could, uh, you hit one point in the distance and then you hold the shift and left click to draw your straight line. Now, if you keep holding shift and keep drawing, keep hitting uh, the button, it'll continue to draw straight lines. That's great. Now, what if you want to uh, do multiple lines? You click and then click again to do your other lines. Now say you want lines back to back. I'm not sure why this isn't key bound from the beginning but I'll show you how to do it. Um, basically a sequence of straight lines. So what you're gonna have to do is you have to go edit preferences and you have to set uh, one, uh, preferably one that's not already set, to sequence of straight lines. Click OK now, uh, right click should do that. That's uh, button 3, just right click plus shift. So we'll do our initial click, shift, right click, and now 
you can see it does a sequence of straight lines. And finally, the last thing I'd like to show you guys is um, if you look through the uh, keybrush shortcuts F and D, uh, control the size. This actually, this trick actually works for other things too, like the opacity. Um, but anyway, uh, what you can do, you know, so if I want a really big stroke, I make it big, and if I, oops, my hand was on the wrong button. If I want to make it a small stroke, I hit D a lot, and go like that. But what I can actually do is this is dynamic and works while you're drawing. So I can make this thing really tiny. And uh, while I'm drawing, hit uh, F to make it bigger. So And there, there you have it, some of the non-obvious tricks to my paint. Enjoy your drawing.